side of the field. There's a flanker out wide to the right. That's Johnny Karras. The end splits wide to the right. Ball comes back, and there is a feed off to the fullback. Tate is through the middle of the line, up to the 30-yard line, still on his feet, to the 20. And he's down to the 10-yard line, finally hit and dropped by Dick Horn on the Stanford. Man in motion out to the left. There is a pitch back to Bacchus. He's up to the line of scrimmage, hit at the goal line, and over he goes for a touchdown. To Lloyd, Illinois, behind the balance line is Kokorian fading back with two seconds left to play. One second, he's being bottled, gets a pass away. There's McCall leaping high in the air, and the ball is intercepted by Brusky on the sideline, coming back to the 20-yard line, to the 50-yard line, hit and dropped on the stand. I remember at the half when we were losing 7-6, to six, and our head coach was Ray Elliott, who was probably the best coach in the country. He was really a tremendous coach, and he was an, also an excellent speaker. And I remember at the half, after he gave his, his pep talk and he showed us our mistakes and talked to us, everybody's ready to get up and go out and start the second half. He said, hey, wait a minute, just one more minute. I want to tell you guys something before you leave. And I'll never forget what he said. He said, listen, you got another half hour to play this game. He said, but you got a lifetime to remember it. We got to hit men and we got to hit them hard. And we got to hit them with everything we've got. Once more, behind the balance line, tight tee in the backfield. Kakarian taking the ball, fakes one hand off, and then fades back with it himself. Throws a long pass downfield, it's intercepted by Illinois, and it's Stan Wallace chasing back to the Stanford 30-yard line to the 25, to the 20, hit and knocked out of bounds on about the 12-yard line. Sends Buckers out as the flanker. He himself in the backfield, handling the ball, pitches back to his fullback, Tate, who swings right around the right side, drives over for a touchdown. Buckers as the end splits wide. There is the ball being handed to Karras, who swings wide around the left side. He's up to the five. He's driving. He's over. Behind the line of scrimmage. There is O'Connell pitching out this time to Tate. There's a sweep around the right side. Tate cuts back over the right side and drives all the way down to the one-yard line and falls over for a touchdown. Out of the field. There is a handoff in the backfield this time. Over to Don Stevens. He's through the right side and over for a touchdown. Bill McKay now has come out wide on the flank to the right. The ball is snapped back to Garrett. He cocks his arm back to throw the pass, and he is cut by Jim Bauman. The goal line in kick formation is Dick Horn. The ball is snapped back to him, and the punt is blocked. The punt is blocked, and there's a wild scramble for it on the three-yard line. Don't know who uh, blocked that punt, but I believe it was Jim Bauman. And recovering for Illinois, Tom Murphy. In the backfield, as Engels calls his signals out. There it is, snap back, and a jump pass across the line of scrimmage is complete. I was a sophomore out of a small community in southern Illinois and came into the Rose Bowl, and the first national televised TV sports event, and I was fortunate enough to... Uh, Pick off a pass when we were down seven to six, going into the fourth quarter, late in the third quarter, and run it back, and we uh, thereafter romped them forty to seven. That class that started in '51, we won two Big Ten championships in the Rose Bowl in those three years of varsity ball. Illinois was probably, if they rated the schools then like they rate them today, would probably have been the, the number one school in America for. Uh, excellence in athletics. Um, we just felt and there was just a, a, a total confidence within the athletes and a, a, a total confidence within the student body that this was some great place, some great era. And my dad said one time to me after I visited Doe, Indiana University, and Northwestern and Southern and so forth, he said, uh, just kind of off the top of his head, you know, I'd rather sit on the bench at my home state university than play out of state. The national recognition, because I think Zupke and Elliott both were two of the national coaches uh, of all times uh, in far as football.